Call a lion, Yahoo, Bashim, Yahoo Shah, Bashim, Bakakadash, Devil Honest to the Elders and the Apostles of the Great Millstone, who rule well, who taught us the truth. All right, shalom on to the Akim out there. All right, spreading the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth and succeed in truth as the scripture teach us to do. Shalom on to the very few sisters that do listen to us as well. All right, this is the brother Yahweh from the Great Millstone, Chicago camp. Basically coming back to you with another lesson. This lesson is concerning, uh, you know, responsibility. You know, this truth is a great responsibility. It's a great labor of love, all right? And it's a reasonable service. It's a calling, all right? As it says in the, uh, uh, the book of Ephesians, all right? It's a calling. We were called to embrace the salvation, you know, that the Most High has given us the opportunity to, to, to have, all right? And, and one thing about this responsibility is you have to be responsible within this responsibility, if that makes sense. All right. So you can pick up what I'm putting down. You know, you have to be responsible. All right. And that's what your daily life, you know, your life in the, within the brotherhood. All right. Certain ways you want to conduct yourself, you know, towards brothers, you know. Uh, certain shit, you know, you just you you keep in the house, you keep it, you keep in the house, you keep to yourself, you know. But uh, all things are not for all men. All right, um, yeah, but it's it's a lot of discipline that comes with this responsibility. So, you know, be responsible. This is um, basically a scripture. The scripture goes into ruling your spirit, man, and that's what we want to do. All right, on, on many levels and as much as we, we, we possibly can, man, you know, and we want to be on top of our shit, man. This is um, second, First Corinthians 9 and verse 25. It says, every man that striving for the masteries is temperate in all things. Now, they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible and if you know the discipline it takes, you know, to compete in certain events, whether it be bodybuilding, martial arts, football, you know, these dudes abstain and train and, and go all they can for their camp, you know. Yeah, they train and camp, you know, to, to get that goal, man, to strive for that corruptible crowd. And, and, and they hold themselves responsible. They hold themselves accountable. All right. And they, you know, <laughs> they do the work, you know. But how much more us that's striving for that salvation? How would our responsibility, how would our accountability mount up, all right, in this labor of love? It says, therefore, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so I fight, not as one that beateth the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. So we want to be an example. All right, we want to be the light. The scriptures say, "Light that light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven." All right, that's what we want to be. We want to be the example, but to practice what we preach, we got to keep our body under subjection, man. We can't be out here acting like niggas in the world. All right, being abusers of this world, acting like some damn Jodies, acting like some damn fools, acting like some damn clowns. You know. And you you got to be sharp in this truth, man. You got to get wisdom. <clears throat> All right? Because the wisdom is the principal thing, as the scriptures tell us. This is Proverbs 2 and verse 10. It says, Wisdom entered into thy heart, and knowledge is pleasant to thy soul. Discretion shall preserve thee. Look up that. Discretion shall preserve thee. Understanding shall keep thee. So this is what's keeping us. This is, this is what's protecting us, man. This is what's um, keeping us from a fall, so to speak, because we have rule over our spirit, man. We have discipline. We have understanding. We're not just letting anything enter into us and just control us like these fools with no covering in the world, man. These niggas are goddamn fools, man, and they have no hope whatsoever, man. We have hope, all right, and we have a, a labor to do, you know. And we have a, a responsibility, our responsibility all right, hey, at the biggest, we have the flock. You know, we have the sheep of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. Look how hard David went for the sheep. All right. Yahweh, Shah. You know, that's, that's the biggest part of our responsibility. 
All right, saving souls, man. Knowing that, that, that souls are in our life, man. Well, in our hands, so to speak. You know, especially that, that the higher and higher you get in the rankings, man, the tighter the grip gets, the more, the tighter the belt gets, the more responsibilities that's in your hand, man. So especially if you're a brother of rank, man, you got to be responsible in this truth, man. And you got to control your spirit, man. Be responsible, you know, have some control. This is Proverbs 25 and 28. He that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Once again, like I said, you know, you got to rule your spirit, man. You got to discipline your body and keep it under subjection, man. It's a lot of, you know, liberties that we have in this truth. All right. But, hey, the scripture said don't use your liberty as a, as a cloak for malicious, man. Just because you can do something, you know, hey, that don't mean overdo it. You know, it might come to the alcohol. It might come to the partying. You know, you might be so fucked up when you get irrational all the time. Your mind ain't right. Because a lot of times, you know, you could be drinking, right? And I used to get high as fuck in the world off, you know, all type of shit. But when, when you when you drinking and shit or doing drugs or something, it, it's one effect they have when you're actually intoxicated. But when you get so used to it and so used to turning up and, and getting fucked up and shit... When you can't get it, a lot of times you you make irrational decisions. You itchy, so to speak, and it's like that with alcohol too, man. If you if you hooked on it, man, you unstable, man. So you know you can't overdo your liberties, man, because it clouds your judgment. Uh, you know not only while you are actually intoxicated, but while you are not intoxicated. You know it causes you to be lazy and knocks you off. So you want to be responsible. You know you want to do er everything in balance, man. To the best of your ability and use utilize the wisdom that Yahweh Bashimi Hashai has has gave us, man. You know, because he didn't give this to everybody to use it, man. And we use all our tools. We don't hold back punches in this fight. This is this is the great war, man. This is the war against ignorance, man. In this present evil world. This land bearing the faith. Alright, so we utilizing all our tools, knowing that we have the responsibility of the flock, that we are examples toward those that are without. We are just those guys, man. And we're going to live up to being just those guys, man, until the end, until the Lord prove otherwise, man. And hopefully, we want to be proven to be those guys when Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah separates the sheep from the goats. All right, we want to be a sheep, man. This is uh, Proverbs 4 and verse 4. It says, He taught me also... And said unto me, let thy heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and in all thy getting, get understanding. So get the wisdom, man. Get the law, statutes, and commandments in, in our inward parts, which the Lord, you know, is going to give us fully in the kingdom, man, when he take out that, that, that heart of stone and really give us that heart of flesh, man, and really give us, you know, that download. But but the, the, the tools he gave us, these things that are vital for salvation, use them, man, and have some understanding. Know how to exercise this wisdom, man. Know how to display it, you know. Know how to deal with situ situations within the brotherhood, situations within your your living condition, you know, situations with you, with your woman, or with your children, or, or, or with your job, you know, when to respond, when to react, when not to react, you know, that's that's wisdom and understanding, you know, everybody can just know some shit, hey, on Saturday, everybody a star, you know, on a video, everybody a star, <laughs> but, um, you know, the, the, the real fight is, is when you alone, man. When you at the camp, you know, you got the big garment on, your beard just dragging and you yelling and cursing out Esau. Yeah, you, was, you I mean, that's what we're supposed to do. But, hey, the real fight is when you're alone, when it come down to make them decisions, man, with Satan knocking at your door, you know, so to speak. You know, that's when you really flex, man, when you're alone. That's 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 when it, it, it you know, that's when the fight get harder, man, when you're alone. Because, uh, you know, it's easy, you know, for Satan to enter. But, you know, we want to be responsible, man, and know that we have a big responsibility. And, you know, we just want to utilize the wisdom 
that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai gave us and not sweep it under the rug, man. But with that being said, hope it was edifying, man. It was short. I wanted it to be short. Call out me how Bashim, how Shah Bashim, Mukaka Dash, double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone and to the hopeful elect. Shalom.